and then lights them both on fire and burns their house down as he drives away from the explosion and, the, the, and his eyes are like twitching with fire in them <laughs> oh yeah and the best part of this is and i don't know if it was for the role or if russell's just enjoying the hamburgs but dude is looking huge in this movie and the shot of him it's walking a thick out ass boy oh, thick <laughs> ass boy thick ass russell crow baby and when he walks out of the the burning house and they have this amazing side profile shot you just get to see the body on this man and he is a the massive guy. it's so big huge like i'm not exaggerating this thing is just massive and i mean it in the best way because the way that he uses his like his physical performance here is unbelievable he just he's a he's scary oh he's a juggernaut man he's an absolute powerhouse in every single scene that he's in like he, he's an inescapable just force of power it's 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 awesome <laughs> Yeah, and, and needless to say, if I were the mother in this film, I would simply not honk at this man. No. And he's so big, he's so scary. Like, especially the, like, the first, the initial thing I totally understand, you know, it's like, get get moving, guy, whatever. Uh, but then the, the part where he's, like, rolling down the window, the introduction to his actual character, <laughs> is unreal, because he's doing this so, so seriously, and he gives her, like... I love that he's trying to not make it happen in a way. Like, he's just like, all you have to do is apologize. I'm giving you an out. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving you an out. <laughs> and he does it, like, three times. And she just refuses to do it. Because she's had this, like, we've built up this. She's had this, like, really bad day. So she's just not having it, that kind of thing. And it's totally understandable. Uh, but it, it, I do. I just found it hilarious that, like, part of this is almost like, just say you're sorry and move on with your day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the movie literally would have ended if she was like, do you know what? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. Just get I'm your ego out of it too. and move on, right. It, but instead, it's it's the road rage. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a great little setup for the premise, for sure. Yeah, because essentially, you know, she's driving around with her son. She's uh, she, she's late taking her son to school. Um, she's late for work, and she's just gotten fired from her job. Yeah. Uh, she's in the middle of divorce proceedings with with her husband, who is trying to push her for you know more more things. He wants to have the house, mm -hmm. and so she she's having not a great day, and she gets into traffic with him. She honks at him. And uh, really, really honks at him as she she you know she pulls, her, pulls <laughs> no around. No courtesy him. tap. Yeah, and he <laughs> pulls up beside her, and as Jamie was saying, he rolls down the window, and just immediately when you're introduced to him with the sunglasses on, he's got that big mugging smile, and he's pointing down, being like, "Roll that window down." Would you roll that window down for a second? Yeah, uh, and he puts and, on and this kind of like, southern drawl a he's little got a bit. Yes. Yeah, and it's yeah. perfect. Like it's not too much, so it doesn't feel like the super exaggerated southern character. It just feels like yeah. a, a true, like really angry American man, and uh, uh, it, it's it's a it's a perfect way of delivering that that kind of voice. Yeah, yeah, and and sometimes he he goes like cage mode and starts just like emphasizing things yeah. or like down like basically changing the intonation of his voice at like any given moment. Yeah, like rage and is just popping out of him and he can't control it, but he's trying to suppress it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, "I'm sure, I'm sure that your mother meant to do a light tap," <laughs> yeah. and she's like, "No, I didn't." She's just escalating the situation with yeah. this giant southern caveman <laughs> pulled up next to her, and, and if you and, look and closely, he's like, he has blood, like blood spots on his shirt, but you can't really see them because oh, no. he, he wears this uh, he wears this sweater or something over it, and if you look every once in a while on the sides, you'll see little spots of red. And they, I think they, That's a great detail. It's, it's so good. And you see it in the diner room as well, but it's so subtle that you can honestly believe that a character wouldn't just look at it and recognize that as what it is. Uh, so yeah, that, that little detail is great too. Yeah. And he's just so large. He's so sweaty. He's doing big goofy faces and yelling and he's like, <laughs> do, do, do you accept my apology? <laughs> yeah. Now, now will you apologize? <laughs> uh, and then, and then eventually he just goes full like sicko mode. He's basically like, "You're gonna, you're gonna find out what a bad day is. You're gonna learn." And oh, and, you're gonna and fucking he, learn. he says that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. And and he says it to her. That's that's my favorite part. Is that it's not one of these things that's like uh, 
like like he slowly starts to creep up or anything like that. Like, don't get me wrong, he does like a progression of of the craziness that he does. But I love that he stares her right in the face and goes like, "I'm gonna fuck with you now," and that's that's what your yeah. your day is. Instead of this like, what is happening? It's 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 very obvious what's happening. The road rage is is going down. Uh, and I and I and I loved that that aspect of it and something in the scene too and kind of what trails like it, it, it continues throughout the throughout the film is the fact that the the kid and although the the mom is clearly you know not in the wrong overall at, at all but I do love that the kid is kind of like the voice of reason the entire time like in the beginning he's like mom we shouldn't go on the freeway she goes on the freeway they're late <laughs> she gets fired uh, she, he's like mom just apologize and we'll just move on who cares she doesn't apologize the whole road rage things happens and and throughout this uh, it, it kind of becomes this part of their relationship where he's trying to convince her it's like I know that I'm a kid but like I am a I'm trustworthy you know what I mean like I I'm I, uh, mm-hmm. you can you can listen to me <laughs> because it, it does feel like it's two adults just kind of butting heads while the child is in the back seat like well Would you yeah, just and, listen and, and to he, me <laughs> it, he it's mentioned too he plays Fortnite, so right. he's all into strategy and he's like there's no strategy to what you're doing here <laughs> yeah. like i don't i don't really understand what's going on and That's what's so point. fucking funny is that they end up using his Fortnite strategy to fucking get him <laughs> right. which is so fucking so funny. good so i good. i lost my mind when they when she was like because I was like, why are we spending time having him literally explain his Fortnite duo strategy? Yeah. Besides, like, a little uh, character then, moment. But, like, the, the fact that they use that as an actual thing is so smart. So funny. Yeah. And, yeah, so what we're treated to over the rest of this movie is a, a uh, like, a series of suspense to full-out, like, horror sequences. Mm-hmm. Um that was one thing that kind of surprised me about this is that like, obviously, you know, I expect a little bit of duel. I expect a little bit of falling down where it has like that thriller. Um, but Holy shit. The deaths in this are brutal, brutal, like super. He runs a guy over at a gas station. Um, he, uh, later over the phone because he steals her phone and then meets with her lawyer friend who's helping her with her divorce proceedings, smashes his face into, um, the table while it's on speakerphone so she can hear it and then takes a knife and puts it through the back of his head while everyone is watching and filming him and like screaming around and even and it's bloody oh it's brutal and even before that like uh how they set that scene up is is uh his name is tom cooper so he goes up and he and he has her phone